Good morning, everyone. I'm going to be taking you on an adventure as I bag up my dwarf chain loaches, the Epistogramma Trio. Hi, this is future Irene. Really quickly, I just realized I forgot to mention why I'm rehoming these fish. In the 20 gallon tank where they live, I just felt like the bio load was a little too high and I wanted to do fewer amounts of water changes. So I'm gonna trade in the nine dwarf chain loaches for hopefully fewer amounts of bottom dollars so I don't have to feed that tank as much. Second up is the Pistogramma Agazizii Super Reds. I've had them for several months now and while they have laid eggs, they keep eating them. And I didn't want to personally raise the eggs. Like the whole point was I wanted to see the parental care behavior. So I am tired of hatching baby brine shrimp every single day for no results basically. I want to kind of take a break and try something a little bit easier. And then finally, we've got the 21 Dwarf red coral platy fry. They are about two to three months old, about one inch long. So they are ready to move out of the quarantine tub. So then now I can bring in new fish into my home. All right, back to your regularly scheduled program. All my little fishy babies are packaged up. It is time to get on the road. I've got my little insulated box here, as well as in case I buy anything frozen, the free Aquarium Co-op insulation bag. Let's go. Here we are, Exotic Aquatics. I'm gonna head on in and trade in some fish. I spent a while in the store kind of taking pictures of the fish that I'm interested in so I can go home and think about it. And I also got my gift card for store credit because that's what I wanted to accept this time. And then it looks like um, the store manager, her boyfriend wants to take my epistogramas home personally. So he's gonna PayPal me the money for that. So good stuff, on to the next fish store. So I didn't have much luck finding things at Aqua Imports. I think they were just low in stock, but I took some pictures of things I liked. Like I did see some powder blue Garamis mail. So I will think about that. I'm headed home now and gonna sleep on it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Well, I wasn't planning on going to any more fish stores today, but my husband needed me to mail a package for him. So I am out and about again, and across the street is a Petco. So gonna check them out. After a quick little jaunt to Petco, I have six gold Inca mystery snails. And the reason why I got six is because I'm actually specifically looking for a male so that I won't get a female that lays even infertile egg clutches that I have to remove all the time. I just want to keep things simple and save as much time as possible. So with six snails, there should be a 98 point something percent chance that I will get both sexes. So wish me luck. <sighs> I am finally home from gallivanting all around town, visiting two to three fish slash pet stores. And yeah, when I was in Petco, I it made me think of 
poor gamer boy. I didn't tell you guys this, but he was actually devastated when he found out that I was going to be rehoming the dwarf chain loaches. It really made me think maybe instead of jumping onto another breeding project for that 10 gallon tank, I should let him and his sister gamer girl pick out some fun fish that they would like. And I might necessarily like the most colorful glow fish there is, but you know, I still get to pick fish for the 20 gallon tank. And so, yeah, it was just something I was thinking of, you know, even just giving the fish away today and going down from four tanks to now two tanks I have to take care of really is this huge weight on my shoulder that I didn't realize I was, I was carrying. And I'm really in that phase, I think, in my hobby where instead of wanting to rush out and get the coolest fish or the rarest fish or something I've never kept before, I want to find the fish that are going to bring me the most joy. And, you know, in my lifetime, I'm not going to be able to keep every fish you know, freshwater fish there is out there. And so I really want to prioritize, like, are these the types of fish that I really like? You know, I tend to like nano fish, colorful ones, more friendly ones that don't hide all the time, things like that. So I think I'm really going to enjoy going to fish stores and instead of knowing exactly what I want and just zooming in, getting it and then leaving, now I can take the time to browse around and I actually have the room to get fish if I actually want to. If you are interested in joining me as I visit more fish stores, make sure to hit that subscribe button for vlog number two. Take time to enjoy your aquariums and I'll see you in the next video.